We preview the Detroit Lions season and tell you if they go over, under six and a half wins, and we'll let you know how to take home $1,000 this NFL season, and it all starts right now. What's going on everyone? It's Matt from Grandstand Betters and last season we cashed on 70% of our season win total prediction so we thought let's run it back this season in 2022. We also now have signups open for our second annual NFL betting contest at GrandstandBetters.com. The link is in the description so make sure you go sign up for free for your chance to take home $1,000 in other great prizes throughout the season. But without further ado, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smack that like button, because it is time to dive into the Detroit Lions season preview. And the Lions have a season win total of over under six and a half. And the Lions started last season as expected 0-10-1 until finally getting their first win against the Vikings in Week 13. Now, Jared Goff actually didn't have a bad season. He threw 19 touchdowns and only had 8 interceptions with a 67% completion rate, which was 11th best in the league. However, he only threw for 3,200 passing yards, and a big reason for that was the lack of wide receivers that he had throughout the season. St. Brown led the team in receiving with 912 yards, and the next closest guy after that was tight end TJ Hawkinson, who only played 12 games and had over 580 yards. Now, to try and fix this, the Lions did bring in DJ Shark from the Jags and drafted wide receiver Jamison Williams out of Alabama with the 12th overall pick and tight end James Mitchell out of Virginia Tech in the fifth round. Now, they, those are some solid players which should help Goff out, but at the end of the day, he needs more time in the pocket to find these guys. He was sacked 35 times last season, which was 11th most in the NFL. Now, right tackle Penny Sewell was a great addition from last year's draft, but he could not cover the whole line by himself. Unfortunately, the Lions, they were not able to bring in anyone in free agency, and they did not use a single draft pick for their line. This could be another issue this season, which is not ideal as Jared Goff is getting into the second half of his career, entering his seventh season in the league, and not exactly the best quarterback at extending the pocket with his legs. Now, one thing that did look good last year was their rushing attack. They split the load pretty evenly behind DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams. Those guys combined for 1,200 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Overall, the Lions should have a balanced offense, but without a solid line, they could struggle again this year. Defensively, the Lions were awful last season. Their pass defense, 24th in the league. Run defense was 28th in the league, and they gave up the league's second worst 27.5 points per game. And with numbers like those, it's it's hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong on defense, but certainly it was a priority in this year's draft. With the second overall pick, they drafted Heisman Trophy runner-up Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan, then selected five other defensive players with their remaining seven picks. They also brought in linebacker Chris Ford and safety Deshaun Elliott from the Ravens in free agency, along with guys like Amani Orawari, who had six interceptions last season, and free safety Tracy Walker III, who led the team with 108 tackles. They are definitely going here in the right direction with their defense. Now, Detroit did have the seventh hardest schedule in the league last season, so let's give them a little bit of a break And they ended, because they only ended up with three wins. But this season, they have the fifth easiest schedule in the league, and that preseason win total has shot up to six and a half. Now, the over is a bit enticing to us, but... They have to win four more games than they did last season to hit that win total. And when you look at those three wins they had last year, they were gifted their Week 18 win against the Packers as the Packers were resting most of their guys for a playoff game. And they beat the Vikings with literally no time left on the clock thanks to an 11-yard pass in the end zone. We're confident that their defense is going to be better this season, but offensively, we're struggling to see uh, with their additions, the big impact, especially uh, with Jamal Will or Jameson Williams coming off that ACL injury. So we can see them getting maybe to five, maybe to six wins this season, but that's going to be tough. So we're going to take the Detroit Lions under six and a half wins this season. 
Now we finish up the AFC North with the Bears and then dive into the NFC, I'm sorry, the NFC North with the Bears and then dive into the NFC East coming up later this week. In the meantime though, don't forget about that NFL betting contest. Guys, we're literally giving away $1,000. Sign up for free at grandstandbetters.com. Great quarterly prizes as well, including the $1,000 cash prize to the grand prize winner at the end. As always, though, sit back, relax, and if you're a Lions fan, hey, don't worry. We're Browns fans. We understand your pain.